welcome back to my channel. And for today's vlog, ang gagawin natin ay refrigerator tour. Tara! BIR, hahapulin na nga ba ang mga influencers? Grabe! Halos nawinda ang mundo ng mga influencers or social media content creator nang lumabas ang Revenue Memorandum Circular 97-2021. Ilang araw din itong nagtrending. Tapos na nga ba ang maliligayang araw ng mga influencers? Lalo na yung mahilig mag-flex ng yaman nila sa camera? Pero ano nga ba ang sinasabi ng memorandum na to? Mababawasan nga ba talaga ang kita ng mga content creator? So, sa video na to, we will learn about bakit naglabas ng memorandum ang BIR? Ano ang matatak sa mga content creators? Paano tayo makakaiwas sa tax na ito? Anong penalty kapag sumuway? At paano ba mag-file ng tax? Alam nyo ba, hindi bago yung memorandum na to. Hindi rin bago yung batas na to. Right? It's actually more of a reminder The BIR is reminding us na we have to pay our taxes. Diba? Siyempre, gusto nila na matatax yung kung may pinagkikitaan tayo para makapag-contribute tayo sa pondo ng gobyerno. And alam natin, yung, especially nung nagsimula yung pandemic, grabe yung growth sa content creation, sa influencer marketing. Grabe talaga. I'm sure you guys were able to see that trend also. Brands are so generous in showering influencers with free gifts with partnerships and the like para mailapit ang kanilang produkto or serbisyo sa public. So, if you are earning through social media, you could be taxed as a self-employed entity or a corporation, whichever you declare your business as. And you should pay your taxes just like any income earning person in the Philippines. Mapa regular employee man o negosyo, we sila to pay our taxes solely because we're citizens of the Philippines. Two types of taxes you need to declare sa iyong social media gig. The first one is the income tax and the second one is the business tax. Under ng income tax ang YouTube Partnership Program. Dito kasama ang ad revenue, channel membership, merch, Super Chats or Super Stickers at ang YouTube Premium Revenue. Pwede rin matax ang Sponsored Post, Video or Blogman, Brand Partnerships, Affiliate Marketing, Product Line Collaboration, Photo and Video Sales, Digital Products like eBooks and Courses at ang Sponsorships within Podcasts and Webinars. Sa Business Tax naman ay Goods or Services that are subject to Percentage Tax or VAT. Actually, ang total na pag-iiwas sa responsibilidad na to is called tax evasion and pass na pass po tayo dyan mga ka-investa. But, merong paraan para mapaliit ang tax na binabayad natin. And this is if you report um, your deductions or expenses uh, through a TRC. So, pag-usapan muna natin ang mga allowable deductions. So, ito yung mga yun. Number one, filming expenses. Number two, computer equipment. Number three, subscription and software licensing fees. Number four, internet and communications expenses. Number five, home office expenses. Number six, office supplies. Number seven, business expenses. Number eight, depreciation expense. And number nine, bank charges and shipping fee. Another way para hindi malaki yung matax natin is by filing a TRC or yung tawag na tax Residency Certificate So sa pag-file nito, maiiwasan nito ang tinatawag na double taxation For example, you earn through your ad revenue sa YouTube And YouTube hindi naman Philippine-based company However, may tax treaty ang Pilipinas at ang US So kung nataxan na ng YouTube sa US ang iyong ad revenue Hindi ka na matataxan dito sa Pilipinas So ayun, buda na lang, hindi two-hit combo Pero ay na nga, we need to accomplish and submit our TRC. Nako ka investa, kung ikaw ay proven tax evader, you could face imprisonment for 6 to 10 years and you will be fined 500,000 to 10 million pesos. Grabe di ba? 
Kaya mga ka-investa, para hindi tayo magbayad ng 10 million pesos in fines, make sure to file your taxes through this link over here. Or, pwede ka rin uh, mag-seek ng tulong diba? sa mga tax, sa third-party tax filing companies like uh, Taxumo and TaxWiz. What's up, content creators? If you're liking this video and if you want to learn about business, kung gusto mo matuto, paano mag-invest, diba? yung mga kinikita mo sa pagiging content creator, you can always sign up in InvestorU for free lessons on business, investing, trading, the stock market, and much more. So, just check it out at investorgrams.com slash university. So, mga ka-investa, masakit man sa puso natin na nababawasang yung hard-earned income natin or yung pinaghirapan natin na income, diba? You know, at the end of the day, we still need to abide by the law. It's better to be legal now than to be sorry later. Diba? So, at the end of the day, just like in trading and investing, we need to be responsible investors. And, you know, as citizens of the Philippines, we need to be uh, responsible citizens as well. So, this is just a reminder uh, to pay your taxes and to be knowledgeable on this as well. Right? So hopefully you guys learned something from this video. Comment down below if you have any thoughts, suggestions, or insights. Maybe we missed out on something. Comment it down below so everyone can see it. And if you learned something you like this, please don't forget to like and subscribe to Investa TV. So that's it for this one. We'll see you guys in the next video.